How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another MLB The Show 23 Franchise Rebuilding Challenge. So we got our next AL team and it's going to be the Toronto Blue Jays. So a very interesting team here indeed. Uh, they were the second team last season to also be eliminated in the wild card. Uh, they lost to the Mariners. So uh, yeah, we're going to be doing them. They're their next team. So if you like the content, leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below for video, Twitter, socials, playlist, second channel, main channel, down description for the content, content for me, TJP. And down below description are the rules. A lot of people keep saying, you know, this, that, that. Guys, the rules are down below in the description. Again, it's a video game at the end of the day. Please read them. It's how we do it. With that being said, let's get on the game plan. All right. So, here we are. We've got the Blue Jays. Let's take a look at their uh, team and all that. It's a pretty good team on paper. I'll tell you that much. If we take a look at the lineups here. Uh, it looks, doesn't look too bad. I mean, maybe Kevin Kiermaier, we could upgrade that center field position, especially because he'd be expiring. Uh, we'll see how George Springer does. Obviously, you got Vladimir Guerrero Jr., so that's going to be interesting. Uh, so, not too bad. Uh, Kirk off the bench right now um i mean we could also possibly use danny jansen as move piece and just have uh kirk be the thing you got captain biggio as well off the bench too i've seen it's you know do some cool things as a platoon guy even as a starter we've traded for him and he's been uh, pretty good so that's gonna be interesting and then our pitching rotation obviously got alec noah and gossman so it's pretty solid bassett uh i probably want to move uh yusei kikuchi at some point We'll see if we want to keep him around. I'm probably going to end up moving him. Maybe get another guy. And our bullpen, for the most part, is pretty solid. Um, so, yeah, I, I guess let's take a look here. Maybe we could try to acquire another starting pitcher uh, like a, just to add to the rotation. And then eh, we'll see what we want to do about center field in the offseason. Obviously, got Bo as well. Bo's the man, the myth, the legend, and he does well in the sim. So, we're going to keep him around. But let's see if there's maybe a couple moves we want to make. Also, Brandon Belt's an expiring. So maybe we'll move him as well. But yeah, let's see if we can uh, try to get a fifth starter for now. That's probably the only move I'm going to make, and then we'll maybe make some more moves at the All-Star break. All right, I'm going to just deal with the Reds. Uh, I didn't really, I forgot we had a huge Ryu. Going to get rid of his contract. Uh, we're also going to get rid of Gucci and Tucker Tallman for uh, Nick Lodolo. Young guy, he's going to be under renewables and arbitration for years to come, and he's going to progress as well. So that's a big move there. Thank you, Reds. Um, and I, I think that's about it uh, for what i want to do for now like i said i probably will maybe look to make some moves at the all-star break and we'll kind of just go from there so yeah i like the team let's see if the blue jays can uh play pretty well in the sim all right so looking at the team right now we're kind of struggling a little bit 44 47 isn't a very good record um definitely underperforming so let's take a look here i mean probably need to make a couple moves let's see the injury list got some guys that are hurt that's probably why kevin kiermaier shoulder tightness yeah we're gonna get rid of him uh kirk dislocated shoulder tough to see uh chris bass with a torn labrum fortunately all right let's see lineups with merrifield could be doing better could be doing worse um santiago's been all stepping in santiago's been all stepping up bo's not doing too bad vladimir has been decent uh, Springer's been good, Jansen, Belt's been all right, uh, nothing too crazy, uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna move Kevin Kiermaier, uh, try to get a better center fielder since he's gonna be walking, Alec Manoa's been awesome, love to see that, Kevin Goss been decent, Nick Lodolo, not too great, um, Barrios, and then Mitch White, our bullpen for the most part, has been okay except for Swanson and Garcia. They've been kind of bad this year. Uh, but Jordan Romano has been pretty solid. 21 saves. And uh, Anthony can't control his kids on the airplane bass. Uh, I'm kidding. He's done well. He's done well. I had to, I had to throw that joke in there once. Um, yeah, we're all human, you know? Anyways, uh, let's take a look here. There, there are probably a couple moves we can make. I do want to get a bit, like I said, I do want to get a better center fielder. So let's see if there are any moves out here that uh, would pot be of potential, uh, potentially good for us. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to find a good center fielder, and we will go from there. All right, I'm going to just do the order. We're going to get Cedric Mullins for Whit Merrifield, Kevin Kiermaier, and Otto Lopez. So, uh, I mean, Cedric Mullins, pretty solid uh, center fielder. I definitely think that's an upgrade now. I know I traded away Wit, which means um, 
you know, Santiago's be nice. I, I don't actually don't mind him starting at second base. So we'll, we'll let him rake. And, yeah, I mean, hopefully the, we can maybe have a good post-All-Star all uh, break, post-All-Star second half of the season, whatever you want to call it. Make the postseason as a wild card team. I don't expect us to win the division. Yankees look like they're kind of running away with that. But maybe if we can get hot enough, we can slip in as a wild card team. That's that's the goal. Okay, somehow we went 90 and 72 and won the division. I don't know how we did it, but I'll take it. We'll take it on the White Sox. Not the divisional series. It said the divisional series. So that's a bug in the game. It's actually the wild card round, but I will take it. I didn't think we'd actually win the win the division, but we did. Uh, cool. One game over the Yankees, so at a 90-win season. Dodgers had 101 wins. Cleveland had 101 wins. Okay. We do have some league leaders. Alec Manoa winning percentage. Alec Manoa wins. Alec Manoa innings pitched. Fantastic. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Home runs. RBIs. And Bo Bosif. Bo Bosif. Bo Bosif. It's got the hits on lockdown. Uh, okay. So not a bad season from the guys. Uh, let's take a look at the awards. What do we got? Vladimir Guerrero Jr. MVP for Vladdy. Nice. Very nice. And that was our only award. Okay. Well, I guess it was the home runs and the RBIs that did it because the average, a little bit lower than that, but 286 is still pretty good. We'll take it. Now, injuries, we got some guys hurt. Uh, Nick Lodeau's, uh hurt. Uh, didn't have the greatest of seasons, but I'm sure maybe he'll be better. Obviously, Chris Bassett, we're missing him for the entire year, which is tough to see. Let's take a look at pitching rotation first. So obviously, Aquino was really good. Uh, Gosman, not too bad of a season. Barrios, eh. Mitch White was good, and then Nate Pearson didn't pitch too much, but uh, I guess he stepped in when he needed to, so good stuff. Um, and then took a look at our bullpen. Simber pitched a lot. Uh, Zach Pop was pretty good. Tim Mays was good. Bass was good. Our bullpen was okay. Swanson, better second half of the year. Garcia was in, and then Jordan Romano, good year from him. 47 saves, we'll take that. Now our lineup. Uh, Cedric Mullins was pretty solid. Espinal had a good year. Bo had a good year. Obviously, Vladimir Guerrero won MVP. I like the way Springer played. Alejandro Kirk stepping in and doing his thing out there. Brandon Belt had a good year. Okay, not too bad. I mean, Varsho, Chapman. Chapman's going to be a free agent. I guess we. Will, I guess I'll try to keep him around. But we'll see. Uh, Biggio. That's a, okay. Danny Jansen kind of struggled a little bit. Got this uh, Winton Bernard guy calling up from Colorado. Not too bad. He's 32. But, alright. Fair fair from him. And that's about it uh, from that. So, we are taking on the White Sox in the wildcard round. We'll see if we can beat them. Alec Noah versus Dylan Cease game one. We lose 6-5. to five. Simber gets the loss. Game two, Kevin Goss versus Michael Kopech. We win 7-0 on a shutout. Gossman, great game there. Can we win game three? And advance to the ALCS, we cannot. So we get eliminated in the wild card round. Not a problem. Um, you know, first season. Our pitching was okay. Uh, bullpen Simber had that bad on. Zach Pop was terrible. Bass was good. Jordan Romano. Infinity ERA. So they couldn't even get an out. That's crazy. Uh, very crazy. How was our lineups in the wild card? Cedric Mullins was solid. It's been a struggle. Bo struggled. Vladdy was great. Some guys were good, others weren't. Kirk didn't even have a hit. That's unfortunate. So, yeah, a little up and down for some guys for sure. All right. Well, we know what we need to do. There's a couple moves we need to make. Uh, also, we just got to get everybody healthy. Uh, so, we'll send to the off season, we'll make some moves, arbitrations, tenderings of the contracts, things of that nature. The Guardians win the World Series against the Dodgers. This is going on our second season. Free agency. Um, let's go after Julio. I'm going to throw him a contract uh, if we can get him add to the rotation. I wouldn't be too mad about that. So I'll throw him a deal, see if he wants to come to the Blue Jays. Uh, that would be our probably our biggest acquisition. Now, I'm looking around. I mean, I could get like Elvis Andrews for like a backup. I wouldn't even be too mad about that, just to get him as a backup. So I'll throw him, I'll throw him a contract, see if he wants to come to Toronto. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anybody else here. I mean, I could go after, like, IKF. He plays a lot of different positions. Uh, I want Maybe I want another, like, outfielder, possibly. Maybe, like, 
Although I could pick up like Cody Bellinger, get a little bit of first. I'll throw him a deal, see if he wants to come to the team. We'll give him like a two-year deal. Um, and I think uh, we'll add, or try to add, I guess we could go after like Josh Hader. Nah. Well, yeah, you know, yeah, I'll, th uh, I'll throw Blake Trina in the contract. But every time I throw Blake Trina in the contract, it's just like he ends up in the minors. That's the thing. It's just like he's always en he always ends up in the minors somehow. But we'll throw him a deal, see if he wants to come here, out of the bullpen. We'll try to resign everybody else, and I think that's about it for this season. And yeah, let's uh, see if we get anybody on the table. All right, well, Julio just went to the uh, Tigers, but I'm going to pick up Aaron Nola, I guess. Just another guy to add to the rotation. So welcome to squad Aaron Nola. It's one of our headline signings. Now, I just double check to make sure. Yeah, we did get everybody else. We're still waiting on Trinidad and Bass to re-sign. Uh, but I did, get, uh, I did get who I needed to get. So, yeah, I mean... Who did we get? Yeah, we got uh, we got everybody back here. About I picked up Hoogity Bellinger and Elvis Andrews, so that's cool. That's about it. So let's just try to get these guys back and then go on to the next uh, season. All right, so start of the second season. Team looks pretty good. I mean, you guys can see the lineups here. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, it, the only thing I might want to get is maybe another bat besides Brandon Bell, but he's coming off a good year, so maybe he could do it again. Uh, you know... He's relatively inexpensive, too. I mean, if anything, though. Could try to get another guy in the lineup. I mean, I actually don't mind Santiago Spinal, so we'll see what he can do. But everybody else seems pretty solid. I mean, the bench looks okay as well. Uh, and if we look at the rotation, we've got Alec Noah, Aaron Nola, Kevin Gossman, Nick Rolo, and then Chris Bassett. Pretty good. And we've got Barrios as our long relief pitcher. Our bullpen, for the most part, is okay. I would probably want to upgrade that a little bit. We do have Blake Trinan up here in the majors, but I imagine he will get sent down at some point because he usually does. Uh, but, yeah, uh, we'll simulate, I guess, to the uh, all-star break. Now, I guess the one thing I could potentially do is, like I said, I can look around and see if we have any, like, players that might be worth trying to move. Like, I could throw, like, Daniel Craig in here. He's 18 years old, got some value. Uh, maybe, like, Danny Jansen. Uh you know, we could do that and then just have Phil Clark be a backup. That wouldn't be too bad. Uh, so we throw them in there and maybe Chad Green and try to get another bat, like, besides Brandon Belt. Like, I'm willing to do it. I mean, we could easily get Felix Bautista. That's not whatever they want. I could get Adley Rutschman. That'd be kind of cool. But uh, let's see what's out there in the market. You know, I'm going to do this deal with the Pirates. We're going to get Cabrian Hayes with Dave Bednar for Daniel Craig, Danny Jansen, and Chad Green. Uh, so, yeah, Cabrian Hayes. Give me another bat. He's also a really good fielder. Um, I guess that means Matt Chapman could be a DH. Although Matt Chapman's pretty solid in the field, too, though. But uh, I guess it makes our defense even better. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, now, I guess Brandon Belt, I guess he'll still kind of be a DH in some instances. Or, you know, maybe they'll have Matt Chapman uh, sometimes play, sometimes not. It's kind of weird. But, oh, okay. I guess he plays against lefties, and Brandon Belt doesn't. Uh, how bad is he against righties? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay. Let's simulate to the All-Star break. I'll see you guys once I'm there. So, we got Sidney Kruger in the draft, but 51-38, nothing too crazy there. Um, I guess the Rays are just really good, and also the Yankees, who got Shohei Otani. I guess they're pretty good, too, but we do have a wild card right now, so that's good. I don't see us winning the division, but we are a pretty good team. Uh, we do have some guys hurt. George Springer, broken leg. Hate to see that. He was having a good year. Uh, Biggio uh, was doing really good, lighting it up in the AAA. Um, and then Mitch White's shoulder separation. Yikes. Um, how is our lineup looking? Mullen's not having the greatest of seasons. Santiago's been pretty solid. Bo's been pretty solid. Uh, Guerrero Jr., a little bit chilly this year, but maybe he could pick it back up in the post-All-Star break. Alejandro Kirk, loving the numbers he's putting up, especially as a catcher. Brandon Belt's been really good. Look at that. Brandon Belt's at least getting some time to play, and he's doing his thing out there, at least at the plate. Uh no, not the greatest of fielders, though, but uh, <laughs> I guess we'll let it rock out. Dalton Varshow would like a little bit more from the showster, but Brian Hayes, that bat, not doing as great as I would want it to. Uh, and then Matt Chapman's DH, and he's having a pretty solid year, so that's that's cool. I've signed just a platoon guy. Eh. Hey, Belger's been pretty good, and then we got Philip Clark, who's good as a backup. I'll take it. Pitching rotation-wise, Manoa's been solid. Aaron Nola's been good. Uh, Nick Lowe with a great 
season from him. This is what I like to see out of him. Kevin Gossman's been good. The rotation's looking pretty good. Barrios has been kind of eh. Uh, and, yeah, I think we might move him. His contract is going to be pretty huge at some point. Chris Bassett's been pretty solid. He's going to be expiring, but he is kind of getting up there in age, so we could maybe look to move him in the offseason, package him and Barrios, and try to get another guy. Uh, in terms of our bullpen, it's some guys some are good, some guys aren't. Jordan Mount has been terrible this year. Um, and David Bednar, not that great either. Eric Swanson has been pretty good, though. He only pitched six games, though, but he's been really good when he's pitched, so I'll take it. So, yeah, I mean, I guess for now, uh, we don't need to make any moves. Um, I, I mean, I don't think we do. I mean, I, I mean, unless I really want to try to get another pitcher now. I would love Shane McClanahan. I can't get him, though. There's no way. For Barrios, and yeah, no, that ain't going to happen. No, that, that's just not going to be a thing. I mean, maybe... Yeah, hey, maybe Tyler Glasnow is having a really good year. Could get him, but uh, yeah, well, I think we'll hold off for now. Um, and yeah, let's just uh, simulate to the end of the season. I think we're good on moves. I don't want to make anything else. Let's just rock out with the squad. I think we can make the postseason a wild card. And, you know, anything's open from there. Maybe we could win and get to the NL ALDS. That'd be awesome. So... We made it as a wild card team, went 91 and 71. We're going to take on the Rays. So that's cool. Let's take a look here and see the standings. So, yeah, Yankees won 103 games, so they had the best record in the AL, and the Braves had 105 wins, and the Dodgers had 106. So there's that. Uh, we've got some league leaders here Kevin Gossman with the whip, 0 .91. That's awesome. Sub one whip. Cedric Mullen stolen bases. That's cool. Um, nothing else too crazy here. Um, injury list, we've got some guys still hurt. Bears, shoulder separation. That's tough to see. Um, okay. In terms of our lineups, uh, Mullins, yeah, didn't have a great season at the plate. Santiago was good. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. was awesome. 50 home runs. I love that. I didn't even lead the league, but he had 50 homers. Take it. Bo was, Bo was good. George Springer had a nice year. Alejandro Kirk was pretty good. Uh, so was Brandon Bell, Dolan Varshell, like a little bit more from him. Brian Hayes didn't see on fire, but you know, not the greatest of years. Matt Chapman did not have a good season. So there's that. Um, okay. How was our pitching rotation? Manoa, not too bad. Same thing, Aaron Nola, Nick Little. They were all ended the season cold, though, except for Kevin Gosman. He was ended on fire. We got Mitch White as our fourth, fifth guy, and Chris Bassett, pretty solid. Um, Amy Garcia struggled a bit this year. Called up Zach Pop. Jordan Armada didn't have the greatest of years, neither did David Bednar. 36 saves, but yeah, the R was a little bit too high, my liking. So, kind of concerned over the bullpen, but we'll see if we can kind of survive against the Rays. The Rays have really good pitching. Uh, Shane McClanahan is definitely really good. We got Alec Manoa. We'll see if he can uh, get this W here for us. Game one, 3 0 shutout. Perfect game? No. Five header. Okay. Uh, nevertheless, did his thing out there, so we will take it. Two walks, eight strikeouts. Game two, Aaron Nola versus Drew Rasmus. But we picked you up, Aaron Nola, for these moments, and you, well, it wasn't his fault. He pitched a good game. Uh, we lost in extras. Uh, he did really good. Uh, seven innings, he gave one run. Garcia got the loss, though. All right, do or die, game three, Nick Lidola versus Tyler Glass now, and we get the W. That was a, wow, that was a lot of pitching right there. So, yeah, and Yimmy, Yimmy redeemed himself, so that's good. He got the win. Uh, and we won an extras by one run. So that's cool. Very good. Okay. So we're we're in the ALDS. We're taking on the Yankees. They got Otani. We got Alec Manoa. Game one, we lose 8-3. to three. Okay. Game two, Aaron Nola versus Carlos Rodon. We win 5-3. to three. Game three, Nick Lidola versus Garrett Cole. We lose 6-3. to three. And we need to get this W here. Game four, Alec Manoa versus Nestor Cortez. We win 6-5. to five. And do or die game five right here. Aaron Nola versus Shohei Otani, and we lose 4-2. Okay, Shohei is starting to pitch well in the postseason. Past couple of videos that I've seen him with. When we had him on the team, and also when he was obviously facing him. Okay, not a problem, not a problem. Bats kind of looked a little bit cold, though. I'm not, I'm not too excited to see how we hit in the postseason. Uh, Santiago wasn't very good. Bo wasn't good. Uh, Mullins was solid. Obviously, Guerrero Dream was great. Springer, yeah, we did not hit well at all <laughs> yeah we struggled at the plate 
So that was our problem. I mean, Chapman had five at-bats. He was good. Brian Hayes wasn't. Um, and we picked you up so you could hit, and you didn't do that. That's a problem. <laughs> that was our pitch rotation. For the most part, the rotation was good, did their job. Uh, Chris Bassett did not. Uh, neither did Blake Tran, uh, nor did Adam Simber. Pop was good. Garcia ended up being good. Got that one loss. Romano only pitched an inning, did his thing, and David Benner was terrible. All right, so a mixture of not hitting and some guys struggling the ball. But I'm going to blame on our offense. I feel like they're, we could have hit a lot better. <laughs> so, But, hey, we got to the ALDS. We took the best team in the AL to five games. And, you know, there's plenty of baseball left to play. Astros beat the Brewers in the 2024 World Series. Let's go into our second offseason and then on to the third season. Ted Fried and see. I'm going to go after Jose Altuve. I'm going to try to get him on the squad. Um, he'll be our second baseman. I like Espinal, but I think, yeah, we might as well try to get Altuve on the team. So we'll throw him a deal, see if he wants to come to the Blue Jays. Um, you know, we'll try to get him if he wants to come. I'll uh, we'll throw him, like, a nine-year deal. Oh, wow, he wants to actually go back to Houston. So you know what? Let's, let's up this a little bit. Um, so I'll try to get him. I think that'll be our, like, big acquisition, just to add a bat into the lineup um, and just have a better second baseman. We'll throw him a player option. He still wants to go back to Houston, huh? It looks like we're probably not going to get him. I mean, I'll throw him that contract. If he wants to come, he wants to come. But it looks like not going to happen. Um, if not, I guess we could do a trade here. And I think I will. We're going to do um, Barrios and Bassett. We're going to throw these guys in a, in a trade and try to get another starting pitcher. So we're not going to try to sign one in free. So we're going to try to trade for one. Um, and then that would be... So yeah, Altuve would be the guy I want to go after. Um, and I guess we could throw maybe an offer at like an A.J. Minter. Just get a bullpen guy. Another guy in the bullpen. A.J. Minter coming off a really good year. So we'll throw him a deal. See if he wants to come here. And if he does, he does. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Not a problem. So we'll throw him that contract. See if he comes. And I think that would be about it. I might throw one at like Hector DeReese. We'll throw him a contract too, get him, add him to our bullpen as well. Um, and that would be about it for moves. So yeah, uh, I'll look for a trade, see if we get in these guys, and yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so we picked up AJ Minter. Nice signing for us, add him to the rotation, uh, add him to the bullpen rather. And also got Jose Altuve, so he ended up signing. So that's cool. And I'm thinking we can get Hector Reese, so I'm going to also now make a trade to get another starter into the rotation here. I'm going to do this deal with the Mets. We're going to get Cody Sango, JT Swartz for Chris Bassett, Jose Barris, and Blake Drainen. Uh So we're clearing up a lot of money here. We're just going to get Kodai and also just JT Swartz as a throw-in. All right, I'm going to do another trade here with the Sox. Uh, we're going to give up Ellis Andres, J uh, Jamie Ritchie, and Winton Bernard. We're going to get back Andres Barr, Richard Duffy, and Chris Bryant. I'm going to move Chris Bryant, though. I'm not keeping him, but it's just so that I can... I want to throw Chris Bryant in deal, get another right fielder, um, just for our organizational depth purposes, um, so we have something. So, I mean, like, I would take somebody that's less expensive. Um, I don't know who that would be. Uh, anybody? Can I not get anybody here? Come on, surely I can. Hey, Casey Ramirez from the Phillies. I could do that. Um, Starlin Marte, Quincy Hamilton... Uh, Garcia, it's a little bit cheaper. Get Mark Vasquez, and then, I don't know, can I get, like, a relief pitcher? Mm, not quite a closer, no. Uh, let me look around and see if I can flip Chris Bryant quickly. I just want to just get somebody for him. All right, I'll just dump him to Cleveland. We're just going to get this Tim Aquino guy. He's got eight potential, so that's, that's about it. I, I just wanted to... Maneuver some contracts here, get some more depth for uh, guys in our organization. That's about it. I will simulate to the start of the third season, and we'll see you once I'm there. All right, next season is upon us, and the team's looking really good on paper. So let's take a look at the lineups and see what we got. So looking at the squad, it looks pretty good. I mean, Altuve is giving our starting second baseman. Yeah, I'm liking this. Brandon Bell, honestly, he's our weakest link in terms of an overall, like in terms of our, I guess, against righties. But yeah, I mean... He hit well, so, I mean, as long as he's a DH and he can do his thing out there, it's not too bad. The bench looks solid. we got some good pieces here. Definitely able to compete. 
Um, in terms of our rotation, Alec Manoa, Aaron Nola, Nick Lodolo, Kevin Gossman, and Kodai Senga. That's a great starting five, if I've ever seen one. Bullpen's not too bad. I mean, we did pick and pick Norris. You saw that. We also got A.J. Minter. Um, hoping that helps us a little bit. We'll see. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I think this team could be pretty good. I guess we're going to go to the All-Star break. And maybe we can win our division this year. Maybe win 100-plus games. That'd be awesome. All right, I think I'm going to do this deal with the Mariners. We're going to get Justin Crawford for Santiago Espinal. Not having a great season. You know what? We're going to get a younger guy. Good potential. I'll take it. All-Star break. We're 53 and 38. I don't see us going winning 100 games, but we are a pretty dang good team. And uh, one of the better teams in the MLB, actually. 53 and 38. So we'll take it. I'll take a look at some of the... Injuries we got, so we got some guys hurt. Swanson, strained oblique, but he should be okay. He's having a good year. Um, and then other than that, nothing too crazy. How are the lineups looking? Altuve's having a nice season. Brian Hayes, pretty solid year as well. He's been cold as late. Bo's doing great. Uh, Vladdy got to get that average up. He also does not have that many home runs either. That's really strange. Alejandro Kirk's having a fantastic year, though. Hitting 344, uh, so that's good. Dalton Varshon... Buck 95 is not going to cut it, my man. So we might need to uh, consider uh, moving you. And just looking here, Justin Crawford. I might want to get him some time. Ryan Belt's doing pretty good still, and Matt Chapman's been terrible. Um, okay. I think we should get a really good left fielder. Dalton Varsha is kind of struggling. I want. I might want to move Cody Bellinger, and uh, I think maybe it's just time to move Matt Chapman. He's just not cutting it, so... Let's uh, see what we can do about that. Uh, but in terms of our rotation, looks pretty good. Uh, Aaron Nola's having a bad, not not amazing year. A little high on the ERA. But overall, though, it's pretty solid. Coda is doing his thing out there as a fourth guy. Our bullpen, Hector has been bad. But everybody else has been pretty good. AJ Minter, 19 saves. I'll take it. So, yeah, I think let's make a, let's make a move here. Try to get a left fielder. That can help us out a little bit. Uh, let me see what we have here. Uh, the trade block. Anybody good on the trade block that we might want? Gavin Lux. I mean, he'd be cool, but I don't really need a shortstop. I need a left fielder. Jake Fraley? No. Well, yeah, no. I, I didn't see his average. I was like, well, yeah, no, I don't want him. Uh, Matthew Sasaki? No. Okay, yeah, I, we have to make our own trade. So let, let's see if there's a move out there that we can get for better left fielder, and we'll go from there. All right, I'm going to do this deal. I'm going to do this with the Padres. We're going to get Dal we're gonna give them Dalton Varsho, Cody Bellinger, Matt Chapman. We're going to get Manny Machado and Ian Happ. We're taking a little bit more money, but, I mean, we're adding two really good offensive players into our lineup. So um, I will take that. I will take that indeed. Um, I don't know how that's going to work out, though. I guess Machado's going to be the DH and sometimes play third. And Cabrian Hayes just... Or, yeah, Cabrian Hayes, I guess, will just play third. Yeah, Machado will be a DH. All right, um, I guess that's not bad. Um, all right, yeah, it works for me. Literally works for me. So, all right, let's see how this team does for the rest of the season. I will see you guys at the end of the year. All right, well, we went 96-66, and 66, made the postseason a wildcard team. So we didn't win our division, and we're taking the Astros on. Okay, so I don't know how we didn't win the division, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, I guess, yep, well, the Yankees won 102 wins. That's, that's how they did it. Um, yeah, they had the best record in the MLB, too. Yeah, well, 96 wins is nothing to sneeze at. 90 wins for the Astros, who we're taking on. Got some league leaders here. Ian Happ doubles, so that's cool. Um, I did extend uh, Bo and also extended Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And obviously, you see Bo was in the top five. With Alejandro Kirk, he's top three. And then we got uh, Manny Machado number six for average. So that's cool. Got some guys hurt. Uh, yeah, just Barger right now. Lineups. Altuve, pretty solid year. Ian Happ was great. Bo was great. Uh, Vladdy, not as good. Uh, definitely a down season. I don't know how he only hit 17 home runs, but... Yeah, really bad year from him. Machado had a good season. He was a good pickup. Kirk was great. Yeah, I mean, the team looks good. Uh, the lineups look, for the most part, pretty solid. Justin Crawford had a good year off of the bench. Biggio, not too bad from him. Um, Martinez only had three at-bats. And then Tucker Barnhart's a backup. Yeah, not that good. But that's okay. I mean, barely going to play in the postseason regardless. Now, our starting rotation, 
Alec Manoa, 79, we like that. That was really good. Dolo had a good year. A little hot on the ER, a little hot on the ERA. Not as good as last year, but good record, though, and a good amount of strikeouts. Aaron Nola, Kevin Gossman was good, and then Sanga not too bad. So bullpen-wise, Pop was pretty good. Nari struggled. Bickford struggled. Tomeza struggled. So middle, let's try to do, let's try to avoid that, guys. Uh, Bedner was good. Eric Swanson was good. And AJ Minter, uh, 39 saves on the season. So like that. All right. Well, we got to take on the Astros, see if we beat them. In the wild card round, got Alec Manoa versus Christian Javier. Game one, we win two nothing with a perfect game. Did you pitch a perfect game? Ooh, no, we didn't. Okay, four hits, four hits, and one walk. Eleven strikeouts. So great stuff there from Alec Manoa. Game two, would like to win this one here. We're home all three games. Nick Lula versus Framber Valdez, and we win five to four. So we're going to the ALDS again to take on the New York Yankees. We've got a good team, of course. We've got Shohei Otani on the bumpers. Alec Manoa, game one. We win 6-4. to four. That's what I like to see. Game two, Nick Lodeau versus Carlos Rodon. We lose 7 nothing. That's tough. Game three, Aaron Nola versus Garrett Cole. We lose 7-3. I need I need Alec Manoa to step up here game four, and he does. And game five, I do I pitch Nick Lodolo after that putrid performance? You, do I do it? Do I do it or do I go? Do I go? Ke ah, do I go? Kevin Gossman. I'm gonna make an executive decision. I don't usually do this. We're gonna go Kevin Gossman. He's gonna pitch a big game five here. Was that the right decision? It was. Kevin Gossman got the W. I'm glad I did it. I had to do it. And Otani got lit up again. So we're in the ALCS. First time, got, uh, okay, Nick Little, we'll, we'll, we'll let you try to redeem yourself against the Angels. Reed Detmers, game one. Okay, you're not, not pitching again. <laughs> not pitching again, Nick Little, sorry, buddy. Game two, Alec Manoa versus Todd Glasnow. We win 4-1. to one. Let's go, Alec Manoa. Game three, Aaron Nola versus Jose Suarez. We win 11-1. Game four, Kevin Gossman versus Patrick Sandoval. We win 2-1. to one. Game five, do I, do I let him pitch game five? All right, we're up 3-1. All right, he got the W. There you go. Okay, we're in the World Series. Uh, you didn't pitch great, but you got the W at least. Taking on the Dodgers. Let's take a look at their team now. If we look at the standings, the Dodgers had 94 wins. We had 96. Uh, we beat the Angels, who had 93 wins. So let's see if we can beat the Dodgers in our season number three. So here we go. Game one, Alec Manoa versus Dustin May. We win 4-3. to three. Good stuff there from our guys. Game two, Nick Lodolo versus Tony Gonzalez. We lose 6-4. to four. Okay, not pitching again. Game three, Aaron Nola versus Luis Severino. We win 7-2. to two. Game four, Alec Manoa versus Dustin May. We win 4-1. to one. Kevin Gossman send us home with the W. Game five versus Blake Snell. We lose 3-6 to six to Blake Snell in the sim? Okay. No, 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 no. Can't happen. All right. I am not going to pitch Nick Lodolo. I'm going to pitch... You know what? If it's a do or die... If it's a do or die, we should let Alec Manoa pitch in Game 7. So I'm going to pitch Kevin Gossman. Game 6. Gossman versus Gonzalez. We lose one nothing. Lose one nothing. Oh, you got to be kidding me. That can't happen. Oh, that can't happen, man. All right. We need a huge... Huge game seven. Alec Manoa, is he big time? He's been big time this entire postseason. They're put they're pitching Bobby Miller. This guy's a rookie. And we win one nothing. Alec Manoa is a god. Let's go. Let's go. Bobby Miller pitched well though. I mean one hit. I mean our what happened to our offense? Jeez. What happened to our offense? Also, the Dodgers made three errors. That's not good at all. Um, but yeah, great performance from Alec Manoa. Dude absolutely carried us this postseason. Awards, Ian Happ, World Series MVP. is glad we traded for him. Playoff MVP was Bo. Um, Kirk was great. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, I don't know how Alec Manoa didn't get it. I guess pitchers can't win it. I don't know. He definitely should have won it. That's some BS. But I guess, you know what? Maybe, maybe it's because he's not an everyday player but even then i mean he in my book he deserved it i, I mess with the rotations i personally i probably shouldn't have but I, I, I maybe you could call it cheating but i did what i had to do so yeah nick little just not getting the postseason but we got our world series win so now i don't care you, you can get valuable experience 
Uh, Nola was really good. Honestly, yeah, Kevin Gossman was great. They were, everyone except for Nick Lido was good. So Nick Lido almost sold us. Uh, Tideman was not good either. Mitch White was really good. Swanson was great. Zach Pop, no. Hector Reese he was good. And uh, Jordan Romano and Adrian Minter were garbage. Okay. How are our lineups? I feel like for the most part, pretty good. Altuve sucked. Um, but everybody else was pretty good. Machado wasn't good. Mullins, uh, uh, Kirk was great. Springer not too bad. And Brian Hayes, man, he's struggling, dude. Struggling. Uh, bench, not bad for these guys. We'll take it. Justin Crawford, one hit in the postseason. Good job, buddy. So, let's go on to our fourth season. Let's see if we can try to win another World Series. All right, so we're at free agency. Um, I did my tenderings. I'm going to offer... I'm going to offer Mr. Brian Reynolds and also Mr. I could throw Fran Ravel. Do I want to pitch her? Well, I do want to resign Kevin Gossman. I know that. I, I, I think I'd go after Kyle Tucker and we can then make a trade um, involving George Springer because I do want to make a move. Um, yeah, I'm going to throw Kyle Tucker a deal. Throw him a contract, see if we can get him. And I'll throw Brian Reynolds a contract as well. Because if I can get him, that means I can let Cedric Mullins walk. Or I can move Cedric Mullins. Uh, that's also an option. We'll throw we'll throw Reynolds and Tucker a contract. If I can get Kyle Tucker, that means I'm going to move George Springer. So, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be too mad about that. I, I want to make a big trade. So, we'll, we'll, see, what's out, what's, we'll see what we could do. For now, I'm going to simulate a couple of uh, things here. Um, is there anybody I want to add to the bullpen? Nobody really here that would... I mean, I guess Devin Williams would be cool. Dylan Tate, I could throw a contract, which I might. Um, maybe Gregory Soto. I feel like I haven't picked him up, so we'll, we'll throw Gregory Soto a deal. Not really coming off a good season, but well, maybe maybe we can add him to the rotation. He'll be better with us. Who knows? Just a lefty out of the bullpen. That's about it. Um, so, yeah, let's see if we get those guys, and if I do, we might make a, might make a trade. All right, so I picked up Brian Reynolds. So, he, I like Cedric Mullins, but I think Brian Reynolds will be our new starting center fielder. Uh, so, if Cedric Mullins resigns with us, we're going to move him otherwise. I guess he could just walk. All right, all rise for the judge. We're getting Aaron Judge. I was going to try to get a pitcher, but I'm going to get Judge because I'm, I'm going to move George Springer. I'm going to move him. He's, he's actually done really well. He's going to be expiring, though, and he's, and he's kind of regressing a lot, so... Yeah, we're we're gonna get hit. We're gonna get Judge. We get we're gonna give them Cedric Mullins though, who, you know, because we just got Brian Reynolds. And yeah, let's get Judge. Welcome to the team, Aaron Judge. Welcome to Blue Jays. Okay, I'm gonna do this trade. I know, uh, you know, Nick Lodolo struggled in the postseason. I'm gonna get Seattle Alcantara from the Marlins and Ty France for Brandon Bell, Nick Lodolo, and Zach Pop. I mean, I don't need Ty France, but why not have him? Um, yeah, I, I think we do that trade. Uh, yeah, welcome to the team. Sandy Alcatara, welcome to the squad. With the Di Giants, uh, Hector Neris, Nathan Lutz, and Mitch White for Pete Hudson and Luis Turibio. Uh, reason being, and I will tell you why, I don't know how the hell Alec Manoa ended up in free agency, but... He did, so I need to re-sign him. Um, yeah. I mean, I could offer him. Can I offer him one year deal? I can't. I mean, I the theoretically, I could give him, like, a two-year deal for this amount of money. I don't know how that happened, but, okay, hopefully we can just get him back on that deal. <laughs> it's just, like... I don't know how he left my team. I don't know. I don't understand it. He wasn't the only one. Like, Kirk and a few other guys. And I think I, I overpaid for Kirk. I should have just, like, moved some guys. But, yeah, we're going to try to get him back. I, I don't, you know, the game probably just over, auto released him. So, all right. I mean, let's just get him back and then we'll be okay. All right. Fourth season, uh, I think. Is it the fourth season? Yes, fourth season. I mean, the rotation looks dominant. The bullpen looks a bit thin on the middle, um, but we'll see uh, what could happen with it. Um, but our rotation's dominant. I, the back end should be good. 
Um, but all right. How is our lineup looking? Looks great. Um, throwing in Judge. Be our new right fielder. Ty France is going to DH. Um, Cabrian Hayes could be on the move um, at some point. Not sure yet. Not sure yet, but he might be moved. Um, especially if he's not going to be starting. I don't feel like I need him. So we'll, 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 we'll wait. But for now, that's that's what we got. Uh, again, this team's going to be really good, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let's simulate to the all-star break and yeah we'll see you then so 54 and 37 at the all-star break team's doing well team's doing well uh see Bo's Bo starting Jose Altuve starting in the all-star game so that's cool and Aaron Judge Aaron Judge is also starting in the all-star game as well right he's on my team because he it, it's because he's wearing that hat he's not he, it's the picture it's picture that's why I don't know why some guys have the picture and some don't, but got some guys on the injury list. Sandy Alcantara, shoulder separation. He was doing really good. Okay, so he's gonna be out for a bit. Not a problem though. But he was doing domin he was dominating. Alec Manoa's been solid. Aaron Nola, not that great of a season from him. Kodai doing his thing. Kevin Gossman, a little bit chilly, and then yeah. Rotation, you'd I'd like a little bit more out of it, but you know, I guess Alcantara was awesome. He was our guy. He got hurt. Uh, bullpen is a bit iffy. Back end's pretty good, though, so far. 24 saves for Minter. Lineups, um, how we looking? Altuve, cold, but he's been hitting 317, so he can't be that cold. Ian Happ's having a solid year. Bo's doing great. Judge, not too bad. Machado's been amazing. Vladimir Gurr Jr., not terrible. Reynolds' been good. Ty France, and Alejandro Kirk, excellent A. Eh? Muy bien, no. Yeah, I, I, I gave him way too big of a contract, but it's fine because it's not meant to be realistic. And we're only doing five seasons, so not my problem. All right. Bench looks good. Cabrian Hayes, I think we move him. Try to get a good relief pitcher of some sorts. Because um, I feel like I just don't need Cabrian Hayes. Yeah, if we have Machado... I mean, I guess Bar Addison Barger could step in if Machado goes down, but I'd rather have Brian Hayes step in, of course. But I, I do think we can maybe finagle a trade for some relief pitching to help us out even more there. So I think we do that, and we dangle Oka Brian. I think that's the move. All right, I'll just deal with the Dodgers. We're gonna give up. We're gonna get Evan Phillips, and Cody Hose. Uh, I'll say. So yeah, Co Cody and Evan. Brian Hayes. Uh, probably losing this trade, but it's fine. Uh, I do need some bullpen help. So, yeah, Brian Hayes, you can go play third base with the Dodgers. That way you're kind of starting. So, happy with it. Um, yeah, that's that's about it for moves. I think we're just going to simulate the rest of the season, and we'll see you once um, at the end of the year. All right, one of the vision at 98-64. Take on the winning of the wildcard playoff games. That's cool. Let's see what we got. We got some league leaders. Uh, oh, we were the best team in the AL, by the way. League leaders. Sandy Alcantara, win percentage, shutouts, and complete games. Very nice. Machado with the batting average. How Jose Altuve with runs. So, looks like a batting title for Manny Machado. Maybe Silver Slugger. Yep, batting title. So, he's got that. That's all we got, though. Not a problem. Um, all right. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So... Got some guys on the injury list. Phil Clark, damaged knee cartilage. I hate to see it. Um, he's actually doing pretty solid. And Brian Reynolds on a fracture form, so his season's over. Um, that's unfortunate. He was doing pretty good. How's our lineup looking then? So that means Justin Crawford's going to have to step in and uh, be good. Um, lineups, though, not too bad. Uh, Machado was obviously great. Probably our best guy. But everyone else here was pretty good. Ty France did his thing. Alejandro Kirk was good. So yeah, I mean, he looked pretty good. We got Pete Hudson. What's up, Pete? Uh, Addis Barger, not too bad. Martinez, Gabriel Martinez. A lot of Martinez is all up here. Our rotation, Sandy Alcantara was great. Uh, Manoa, not too bad. Aaron Nola, not that great of a season from him. Kodai Senga, not too bad. And Kevin Gossman. Uh, it's regressed a little bit. Uh, Rick Tadman, don't want to see him pitching too much if he can pitch like that. 
Bullpen, okay. Uh, Hagen Danner, good record. A little high on the ERA. But other than that, everybody was pretty good. Um, except for Rick Tedman. He was not very good. So, uh, who are we taking on? We're taking on the winner of uh, New York and Boston. It's going to be one of our guys. One of our divisional rivals. And it's going to be Boston. Okay. It's got Seattle Alcantara versus Dylan Cease. Game one, we win 6-5. I like it. Good job from the bullpen there to hold on the lead. Game two, Alec Manoa versus Garrett Whitlock. We win that one 9-4. And game three, Aaron Nola versus Tanner Hawk. We lose four to three. Okay. Uh, we need Kodai Senga to step up here. Game four versus Mitch Keller. He doesn't. Or well, Eric Swans gets lost there. We lost nine eight by one run. So we're do or die game five here. Sandy Alcantara versus Dylan Cease, and we win nine two. So we're going to the LCS. Take on the Twins. Uh, let's see their team. Twins were. I don't know where the Twins were. I eighty five win team. Okay. Game one, Jesus Lozardo versus Alec Manoa. We win 6-3. Very nice. Game two, Aaron Nola versus Joe Ryan. We win 7-5. So we're up 2-0. Can we go up 3-0? Sandy Alcantara versus Tyler Maley. Win 3-2. Love it. And Kodai Senga versus Jesus Lozardo. Can we lose 10-5. Okay, Kodai cannot be pitching. Game five, Manoa versus Blazovic. We win. <coughs> going to the World Series. Take on the Marlins and Braves. Probably going to be the Braves. And it is. Not a surprise. Not a surprise. Braves are usually good in the sim. Speaking of the Braves, 98 wins. Very nice. Okay. So we got Alcantara versus Spencer Schrider. Game one, we win 4-3. to three. Very nice. Game two, Manoa versus Wright. We win 11-1. Game three, Aaron Nola versus Lucas Giolito. We lose 2-1. to one. That's a tough loss right there for Aaron Nola. Game four, Sandy Alcantara versus Jordan Ramos. We lose 11-5. So Alcantara got lit up there. Game six. Uh, oh, this is game five. 2-2. Two, two. Alec Manoa, big game five here, and we lose 13-6. So we're down 3-2. <sighs> Kodai. Do I trust Kodai? I kind of feel like I should pitch big game Kevin Gossman. Over Kodai Senga. He's been awful this postseason. I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to switch it. Kevin Gossman hasn't pitched. Yeah, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have Kevin Gossman pitch. Coming in, big, he pitched big. He came up big um, when I when I switched for him. So can he do it again? He can, dude. He's a he's a big game performer now. Alcantara, I'm not switching you. I traded for you. I traded him a lot of stuff. He got to step up here and get the W here versus Lucas Giolito. Can he do it? He can. Two straight World Series for your Blue Jays. Let's go. Um, I'm so glad I switched Kodai Senga because I didn't think he, I think he was gonna choke. <laughs> and he probably would have. So back to back World Series champs, uh, Bo World Series MVP, Bo Playoff MVP. Uh, love to see that, and you guys can see Justin Crawford stepped up, big, very nice there from Justin Crawford. And then Aaron Judge is Aaron Judge. Uh, how do we do pitching rotation? Alcatara, but not the greatest postseason honestly, but. He did enough to win. Honestly, our pitching was not good, other than Kevin Gossman. Uh, at least the rotation. Rick Tadman pitched too much. Yeah, oof. Our bullpen was... I was going to say it was really good. How did David Bednar not even get any innings? That's crazy. Evan Phillips was bad, and I extended him. Okay, our pitching was very spotty. Uh, lineups, though? Everybody hit great. Except for Vladdy. He didn't have a good high average. He had six homers, but not a great average. Justin Crawford was clutch. How did Pete Hudson do? He didn't get in that bat. None of our bench got him at bats. Okay. Well, we, we did good enough to win. Uh, fifth and final season, I'm probably just going to bring back the rest of the team and see if we can win our, in our third season. Or third season in a row, rather. All right, so we're at free agency, but, like, I'm not going to pick up anybody. I'm just going to try to re-sign all of our guys and... There's really nobody here. I offered Phil Bickford uh, arbitration. That's about it. I mean, we're not trying to pick up anybody. Uh, at least I don't think I want to. Um, I mean, we really don't have any money. So, yeah, I think I think this is good. I mean, unless I want to get maybe, I don't know, like Pierce Johnson for, for some odd reason. But even then, I can't even afford him. So, yeah, we are can't afford anybody. So, that, hey, that's pretty much it. I mean, if we're just going to keep the team as is and... Go to the fifth and final season. I'll just see with the Royals, though. I will get Vince Baum for Sidney Kruger and Lonnie Reader. Um, 
I just have a lot. I have a lot of center fielders and a lot of left fielders, a lot of outfielders. So yeah, we'll take another starting pitcher every turn. Why not? Same kind of concept here. I'm gonna just do the Athletics. Small move. A Edwards for De Jesus. Uh, yeah. All right, fifth and final season. Here is the lineup. I mean, on paper, you guys can take a look and see it's a good team. I mean, there's not much else to say. <laughs> Team is really good. The bench is okay. It's nothing great. I mean, we've had better benches for sure, but it'll suffice. Um, our pitching rotation, Alcatara, Manoa, Nola, Senga, and Kevin Gossman, pretty good. Bullpen is not bad, uh, so we'll see how we can do. Um, I mean, I'm not making any moves. This is going to be the team for the rest of the season. Uh, we are over budget. I mean, if I want to do this trade, they would do it. They wouldn't do that, though. Easily get Walker Bueller if I give up everybody. We can get Juan Soto. Ooh, we could get Juan Soto. Is there any way... I'm trying to think. Who's the hardest player to trade for? I'm out of curiosity. Mm. Ronald Acuna Jr. is pretty hard to get, but I've traded for him before. Uh, Spencer Strider. I don't think I've ever traded for him. He's pretty hard to get. Julio Rodriguez is, like, impossible to trade for, I think. He's got to be the hardest one. Um, yeah. He's definitely, like, one of the hardest people to trade for. Uh, Shane McClanahan's hard, too. But I can get him if I give up Alcantara, Manoa, Nola. I ain't doing it. But All right. Let's uh, simulate to the All-Star break. break. So we're having a good season. Uh, got some guys that are hurt. Uh, but nothing too crazy. Uh, Gabriel Martinez, torn groin, that's tough. He was, he was more of a bench guy, though, so not a problem. How's our lineup looking? Altuve's been solid. Ian Happ having a great season again. Bo doing his thing. Aaron Judge been cold as of late, but he's having a really good year, so 305 average will take that. Machado, Vladdy. Vladdy's kind of declined a little bit since uh, 2024, but he's okay. Ty France is amazing. Uh, Reynolds solid, and Alejandro Kirk doing his thing out there, so... Bench is nothing too crazy, nothing much to scoff at, but it'll it'll do. Alcantara's been good this year. Alec Manoa, Aaron Nola's been cold as of late, but he's been solid. Coda has been kind of struggling. Rick Todman is now in the rotation. Uh, Gossman's in the bullpen. Big game, Gossman. Big game, Gossman. Kevin Gossman. Yeah, that's what we're calling him. He's been the MVP of the video, low key. Uh, the bull middle of the bullpen's pretty good. Soto's been good, but Swanson and Bickford have been great. And then the back end of the bullpen. Bedner's only pitched two innings this year, but when he's pitched, he's he pitched four games. And A.J. Minter has been nice this year. 21 saves. We'll take that. So, yeah, we're not making any moves. We're going to keep the team as is and see if we can win our third World Series and go back to back to back for the three-peat. All right, well, 113-49. Won the division, taking on the win of the wildcard playoff game. So this is definitely our best season so far. Uh, and yeah, we had a great year. Alcatara win percentage. 25 wins in a season is pretty impressive. Uh, he's got the best innings, most innings pitch, whip. That's great, and probably more. Aaron Judge, Little League, and RBIs, both hits, and both runs. So that is a great, and he hit 325. Uh, Ty France, Aaron Judge, they're up there too. So great stuff. Awards, what do we got? We got Sandy Alcatara, and Cy Young, and Aaron Judge, MVP. Love it. Absolutely love it. And those are some great pitching numbers right there. Uh, so I guess Judge beat out Devers because of the RBIs. Maybe. Um, either way, good year. Injury list. Got some guys hurt. Pete Hudson. The man, the myth, the legend. Zach Britton, we have. Uh, this from Zach Britton, obviously. Pitch rotation and lineups. Let's take a look. Altuve, decent year. Not, not a great second half of the season, but that's fine. Um, Ian Happ was really good. Bo was great. Uh, Aaron Judge was also great. Obviously won MVP. Vladdy was good, very good. Ty France had a great year. Yeah, the team's looking great. Paper, bench, uh, Martinez in 19 at-bats, 16 games played. 9 of 16, 4 homers, 8 RBIs. So that's a guy that maybe... If we need to have a pinch hitter, somebody's having an off day, he can step in. That's great. How's our rotation? Obviously, Alcatara on the Cy Young. Uh, not too bad from Alpinello. Aaron Nola, decent. We've got Rick Tidman, 
not the best of seasons. Kodai Senga, good year in terms of record, but a little high on the ERA. Uh, Vince Baum, the guy we traded for, top prospect, 9.82 ERA. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kevin Gossman, 13-3, good record, but ERA a little high. Soto, not the best second half of the year, but Swanson and Bickford were great, and then the back of the bullpen, really solid. Minter with 45 saves on the year. So, obviously, 113 wins are going to be the best record in the MLB. Yep, 10 games better than the next best team, which is the Dodgers. So, we are going to be taking on the Boston Red Sox in the ALDS. So, we got Mitch Keller versus Sandy Alcantara. Game one, we win 6-3. Cy Young Sandy. Game two, Alec Manoa versus Dylan Cease. We win 3-1. to one. Wait. Yeah, okay, I, was about, I'm, I think I misread that. Okay. Gate 3, Aaron Nola versus Tanner Hawk, and we win 5 to 4. So back in the LCS, take on the Twins, see if you can beat them. Here we go. Game 1, Alcantara versus Garrett Whitlock, we win 3 to 1. Very good pitching performance there. Game 2, Alcman versus Jesus Lazardo, we win 7 to 2. Game 3, Aaron Nola versus Joe Ryan, we lose, oh, we win 8 to 4, rather. And Game 4, Rick Tidman versus Max Freed, we win 3 to 2. We're in the World Series, going to be taking on the Giants, the Cubs, and it's going to be the Cubbies. Cubby Cubs. And the Cubs won 83 games. Okay. So on a little magical run here. You have Bieber. Game one, Alcatara versus Shane Bieber. We lose 5-2. to two. Okay. And it was Soto that got the loss. Game number two, we got Alec Manoa versus Justin Steele. We win 9 nothing. Alec Manoa with the perfect game. Four hitter. Pitched really well. Okay, game three. Nola versus Drew Rasmussen. We lose 5-2. to two. Game 4, Ricky Tidman versus Kate Horton. We win 14-7. to seven. Game 5, Sandy Alcantara versus Shane Bieber. We win 2-1. to one. Alec Manoa, take us home. Game 6 to 3, Pete. And we don't. Okay. 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 Yikes. All right, we got a Game 7. Aaron Nola's on the bump, and he's having not the greatest postseason versus Drew Rasmussen. Third time's a charm. I'm doing it. We have to do it. We have to do it. For the culture. For the culture, do I... Well, I mean, I should pitch... I, I mean, I should pitch Sandy Alcantara. Or Alec Manoa. But I'm gonna do... Big game, Kevin Gossman. For the culture. For the culture. You have to do it. Third time's a charm. Can he do it? Can he do it for the third time in this video? He can't. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Well, we did not win Game 7. I had to do it. I mean, the fact that we lost in this season with the team we had to against the, a team that was 30 games worse than us is kind of embarrassing, but it's not at the same time. We won two, we won two straight World Series. Can't be mad about that. Uh, and it took a Game 7, and yeah, I probably shouldn't have picked Kevin. Really? Wait. Hold on a minute. You're telling me... I should have pitched Kevin Gossman. That was the right call. Aaron Nola was the one that got the loss. I took out Aaron Nola. I, I, ah, oh God. Aaron Nola ended up getting the loss. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Wow. I mean, we made two errors, though. But... Dang, man. So Kevin Gossman did his thing. It just... Blew it. All right. Well, one game away from three-peating. Aaron Judge, playoff MVP. Christian Betancourt, wow. For their team. Pete Crow, I'm sure. Okay. Let's take a look at the pitching rotation lineups. How'd we do in the postseason? Ian Happ had a nightmare. Um, Guerrero Jr. wasn't good. Ty France wasn't good at all. Okay, some guys were hit and miss in the postseason. For the most part, we were okay. Crawford only had one at bat. Yeah, the bench really didn't play. Pitch rotation, Alcantara was really good. Manoa was really good. Edward Nola was not. Neither was Ricky Tidman, but although he was 2-0, oh, we didn't get a loss. Uh, Vince Baum was really good. Gossman was good. I can't, can't be mad at him. Soto is ah. Uh, and honestly, the rest of the bullpen was pretty solid. So, there's a couple misses here. Aaron Nola let me down. That's okay. I, wa I really wanted Julio Urias, not Aaron Nola, but I had to settle for Nola. I mean, Nola did his thing for most of the video, but there he kind of let me down. But that's okay. Got two World Series. Can't be mad about it. 
Let's go to the polls and close the video. If you the video, if you did, leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below some videos. Go to socials, playlist, second channel, main channel, down below description to get the content in TJP. And yeah, with that being said, there's really nothing else to say. We got our next NL team coming up, a NLDS teams that got eliminated. So coming to the close on the normal team rebuilds, we got some career sims maybe coming up, some uh, fantasy draft and those other fun ones. And should be good. So be on the lookout for those. They'll be coming in May probably. Yeah, middle of May. So with that being said, I'm going to head on out though. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon. Peace.